ABC 29 tonight, Janet Gaggenhart has his story for the first time. You know, Steve and Casey, if you think you've seen him running in your rearview mirror, you probably have. He keeps you guessing with his unique facial hair style, but he's always pounding the pavement in the same style of short shorts. But there's someone so many people have seen, few people know Running Man's real name. This is Running Man. I guess I'm a bit of a celebrity, so... <laughs> Not intentionally, but that's the way it worked out. Philip Weber is recognizable by just how much he runs and how little he wears. I've got a bit of fame for running without a shirt in the snow. Because he's the new styles, people, what people are wearing. This guy, nope, the running man is still just chugging and running. It's like the Energizer Bunny. So 5,200 miles a year. I mean, think about what that is. It's 100 miles a week. The man in short shorts is 55. He's never said, I do or been a father, but he is in a relationship of sorts. And I would say I'm married to my running and to my textbooks, yeah. The bachelor loves Albemarle County's rolling roads. But I kind of feel like maybe I'm in some sort of a landscape painting or an Ansel Adams or maybe a runner's world wide angle shot. After 16 or 17 miles, you know, you've got the breeze flowing through you, and you've got the, the bales of hay in the background, and it's just, uh, it just takes on a kind of mildly surreal character. Sometimes, it's lonely. So if you think that you don't know anybody, you don't have any friends, there's probably somebody in one of those cars going by quietly who will walk up to you and say, I see you all over, and then, you know, <laughs> so, you know. But those are your friends. Those are my friends, even though I don't know their names. You wouldn't know it, but Weber collects. Is the most shirts in Charlottesville? <laughs> Could be. Shirts he almost never wears with the shorts that have made him famous. I like to stir up trouble, so I had these, I, I got these at the Rag Mountain Running Shop, and I would run these during, uh, right around July 4th, just to uh, cause controversy. And then I got the reputation as the British Bulldog. He keeps shoes going for thousands of miles. These are dead. And so are the ones that I'm wearing. But I had to revise them. Running essentials are simple. Shoe goo and cotton string, because that's what my life is held together by. After studying specific chemistry at the university, Running Man says he saved up working several jobs to make time and money for his high mileage habit. And that now he works part time making audiobooks for the blind. So now what I'm stretching is this. Weber says consistency and stretching are keys to staying injury free. I haven't yet won a major marathon, but we're still working on that. As for the future of his look. I have the constantly, continuously changing facial hair, and uh, I used to have long hair, now I'm a skinhead, so really, really stay tuned for the next episode of The Running Man. <laughs> Running Man says when he does win that marathon, his target time is to break two hours and 50 minutes. That's pretty fast, but right now, he's less than two minutes off of that goal. That's awesome. And you said he always keeps guessing, and he's actually had his name that he loves so much, the Running Man, for a long time in Charlottesville. Oh, yes, Casey. This is a Cavalier, Cavalier Daily newspaper from 2001, and there's a whole entire spread inside of here about him. And there's something else that he wants uh, maybe some of the female viewers to know. Oh, yes, that's right, Casey. Well, Running Man is single, so <laughs> any takers out there? <laughs> awesome, guys. Any, so dedicated. Any takers in here? Yeah, oh, per perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Jenna. Thanks for introducing us. That's him. What a cool guy. He is. <laughs> Thanks, Jenna. <laughs> nice, uh, nice running weather out there. Uh, Eric's a runner. Yeah, Eric's a runner. Yeah, you're gonna Hey, Casey and Steve, that's a great story on the Running Man. Jenna did a great job there, and uh, congratulations to Running Man. Let's uh, take a look at a time lapse view from our Charlottesville camera. A gorgeous day, and uh, temperatures, well, they outdid themselves today. Upper 70s across much of the region, and we're set to get near those levels if higher tomorrow. Let's take a look at our high temperature today. We topped out at 79. Currently 73 at this hour, and the humidity's up a little bit. The dew points are climbing closer to 60, so it'll feel a little more humid tomorrow. Right now in the Shenandoah Valley in Waynesboro, we find 69. 
touching 79 degrees as well. In most locations, even at this hour, you're still looking at temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s. So it is going to be a mild uh, November overnight. We take a look at our low temperatures, generally in the mid to 